For many years now, the Unity community has been asking Unity to make a game as a way to demonstrate what Unity is truly capable of, much like Epic did with Unreal Tournament, Gears of War, and Fortnite. In response, at GDC 2022, Unity showed a glimpse of their newest upcoming puzzle platformer demo game, Gagea. Though Gagea is still in active development, like many of Unity's past demo games and tech demos, it will be a free downloadable project designed to help developers learn how they implemented different mechanics, lighting, shader, and effects. Unity has stated, the team developing Gagea only consists of 15 creators spanning an array of talents, including programmers, artists, designers, and producers. Additionally, unlike many of Unity's tech demos and public projects of the past few years, the Gagea team is not bound to any specific product or feature allowing them to gain a greater perspective into the challenges that indie and small to mid-sized studios face while trying to successfully ship or publish games. This also allows them to further explore tools, features, and best practices, which they can then use as feedback to improve the Unity development process as a whole. Unity has also stated that the Gagea team isn't just focused on the technical aspects of game development. Like many studios nowadays, the team uses a hybrid of an office and remote developers who are located around the globe. This was mainly done so they can better understand the new challenges that many game studios face regarding communication, collaboration, and planning, and in the future implement new integrated tools or software to better deal with and overcome these challenges. Despite the fact HDRP or the High Definition Render Pipeline has been a focus for the majority of Unity's demos for the last few years, Gagea uses the Universal Render Pipeline, or URP, to create its beautiful stylized and unique visuals. And though the production team originally debated which render pipeline would be best for the project, they ultimately decided to use URP, mainly due to its cross-platform portability and popularity. Using Unity's new URP features, the Gagea artist and designers work together to be able to create a beautiful stylized world that tells a story in itself. Unity stated their striving for the environment in Gagea to feel like a real place with a backstory that shaped the land into a world as it appears in the game to the player. To create this world, the Gagea artists have been working with features such as decals, shader graph, VFX graph, and post-processing effects, just to name a few. With that being said, the Unity team will continue to develop Gagea over the coming months, and it's expected to be released sometime this year in 2022. Once completed, the game will be available for free on Steam. Additionally, all the game's project files, which will include all the assets, code, shaders, effects, textures, characters, and environments, will all be free to download and explore within Unity. If you'd like to learn more about Gagea or follow its development, be sure to check out the links in the description. We. The oasis where the Gigaya's powers were harnessed. The settlers, they left a long time ago. Why did they leave? The juice wasn't worth as much as it cost to harvest. Now it's nothing but ruins crawling with wildlife. There does appear to be more than meets the eye here. Great work getting the power back on. Thank you, kid. I didn't think we'd ever come back online since they turned the power off. I have no purpose if there are no settlers. The view will be stunning once we get up there. If we get up there, there are a lot of dangerous things between us and the Gigaya. Almost like they're protecting it. An even better reason why we're gonna open it. Time to try something new.